Hello Tofford and welcome to my last mathematic mystery for you. Without further ado, I will tell you the answer to last week's mystery. Well done to everyone who did some great problem solving. Drum roll please. And the answers were 48 and 63. Well done if you got them right. So the 11th mystery is upon us. And I'm filming it on July the 11th, which got me thinking all about the number 11. So I made a little poster to share my facts. I wonder if there's some new facts for you there were for me. Did you know that 11 is the first palindromic number? That means you can read it forwards and backwards. It's also the smallest double digit prime. I wonder if you know what a prime number is. It's only in the one times table and the 11 times table. I also researched some fun ways to write it. And also a fact about it being the number of players in lots of sports teams. I also learned a new word this week. Can you see it? Strobogrammatic. That might be one for you to look up. Basically, it just means you can rotate it so that it's upside down and it's the same number. And you can also look at it in a mirror and it's the same number. I also found out the name of an 11 sided polygon, a hen decagon, and also a famous example of how it's been used, the Apollo 11. Lots of facts there, which leads me on to my final challenge if you want to take it up. If you'd like to get in touch one last time, it's a nice simple challenge for you this week. Pick a number and tell me some facts about it. I'd love to hear from you. Last but not least, here's this week's Wall of Fame. Fantastic! Look how many names there are on there. Every week you make me so proud with all your maths problem solving. So let's see if we can keep it up for one more week. Have a great week. Bye everyone.